hockey player, uh, a male or female, a competitive athlete, or just a house leaguer, needs a good uh, meal pasta. in the stomach, a good pasta, if you will. Yes, yes, executive chef from Valhalla in Manny, Brazil is here. Hi, Manny. How Manny, you? how you doing, pal? Excellent. Yourself? Well, pretty good, thanks. We disturbed you earlier. You were trying to go and do something. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> just sneaking by. Just That's sneaking okay. by. How are things at Valhalla? Pretty good, uh, picking up. Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Right now, yeah. getting ready for Christmas and that, getting a lot of Christmas bookings. Yeah, is, that, is that a good. holiday uh, season approaching? You're oh, yeah. Getting Starting busy already. This year? Yeah, yeah, like for Christmas Day, we, uh, two, we got two rooms half sold out, half sold wow. already. Because wow. we have two seatings in, in each room. So, oh. yeah, it's really good. That's great. But last year was totally different. It was like two weeks before, we just got a big crunch. Big but, crunch. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Eh? <laughs> this year, I think as soon as the Halloween, I think as soon as the last pumpkin was blown out, <laughs> the Christmas decorations went up, holiday decorations went up. They started making displays and singing carols at the mall. I think they want us in there. Uh, oh, I mean, I got neighbors who got Christmas lights on already. It's really? Like, really? That's yeah. in July, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, it is cold out there, so yeah. start it is. to feel it. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? You, okay, you, so you're we have your hands <laughs> in hot oil. Yeah. <laughs> what is going I can't on? I can't find the outfit. I told about it. <laughs> okay, we got some uh, olive oil. Yeah. Right. And some chicken. We're going to start off with the chicken first. All right. I have a pan just like this. Do it you excites really? me. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's great because when the oil splashes in that, it keeps it all inside, right? All right, Manny. Uh, chicken. Boneless, skinless chicken breast. Boneless, skinless. I mean, you want to do shrimp, you can use some shrimp, some beef, mm. whatever. Okay. Like whatever you want. I, I kind of made this dish uh, about three weeks at home, then I put it on the menu, it's been selling like crazy. Really? And it's so simple. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of weird. So is that how you come up with a lot of your recipes, just fiddling around, trying yeah. things yeah, at home? Yeah, just playing around. I mean, this is what I had at the house that day, and I just put it together, and wow. it, was, like, it worked out really well. Wow. You um, might want to try my toast with jam. <laughs> 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 it's it's some peanut butter together. and bananas. Oh, I don't know. Let's not get like crazy. Just the jam. Okay, so, so I got, I got some uh, yeah, white pepper, some salt. I got some fresh garlic. Mm. Yeah. It's going to smell good in here, sir. How many cloves of garlic did you uh, It's in? maybe about one. One. One right there. Yeah. Then we have, um, I got the spaghetti, which we blanched already. Okay. Uh, I, I gotta bring it up again. Uh, blanch it in salt water. Mm -hmm. Take it out, don't cool it down. Don't cool it down. Uh, just take it out hot, out, out of the water, put it on the tray, some olive oil, and just let it uh, cool down that way. Okay. All right. Yeah, because then all the, all the starch stays in. If not, you run it under water, all the starch comes out, and you really have no flavor to it. You get okay. nothing but like, Yeah, nothing. Yeah. So always in uh, salt water. You know what's funny? I tried uh, buying some stuff at the St. Lawrence Market there, uh, one of these pasta things. And um, I couldn't say it was an overwhelming flavor. It was a little ravioli. I was ready, ready, ready for it. You know, bought the fresh stuff. And but it's all, they it's all in the sauce, you know? So Yeah, yeah, I think that's the problem. I made the yeah. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, a huge, huge thing is, oh, um, you got to make sure your water's salted. Taste the water? Yeah. And it, yeah, I mean, you have to be able to taste the salt in it. Oh, okay. Taste the salt. Yeah, I mean, you taste that it. It'd be salt. like having a soup. And right. you say, well, okay. it tastes good. And you, so you taste the water, and, taste, and it's like vegetables, pasta, like anything like that. Good. Right. Well, I thought it was always to make the water boil a little more, the salt. Quicker. Uh, yeah. Quicker, yeah. No, it's the, uh, well, you think about it. Um, I mean, you're boiling it, so if you have salt in it, the salt is going to get right into it. Mm. Compared to when like I'm potatoes, seasoning this, right? yeah. the seasoning is on the outside, is okay. not on the inside. Oh, okay. Potatoes, I make mashed potatoes. Yeah, I just you don't salt a it? a pinch of salt after, oh. because of the, the salt is in the potatoes already. Oh, right, because of the boiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah those little secrets that make all the yeah. difference. This is oh. why when you go to the restaurant, it's like, why doesn't my food taste Tastes like this? good. Now, I'm happy to see you putting in asparagus, because Kay. I made a sauce just a couple weeks ago, and I put asparagus in it. My husband was like, asparagus? I've never seen oh, asparagus in the sauce. Asparagus is great. It was great. Got yeah. some asparagus, I got some okay. mushrooms, like a some carrots. American. I mean, you want to put, yeah, I mean, you want to put some broccoli, cauliflower. That's color. all fine. The color is Yeah, great. color. And uh, I mean, Onion. you could do it in two stages. You could actually do this if you want. Uh, do your vegetables on one side and then cook the chicken on the other one. Right. right. But uh, it's simple, like one dish, less pans right. to clean. Sure. I mean, is it you hot won't have dinner and spend an hour washing dishes. <laughs> Pardon? It hot enough for you, do you think? Uh, it's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just give it an extra click, and that'll that'll <laughs> bump up the outside ring. It's one of these silly uh, slow stoves. And uh, simple. Yeah. It's gonna be olive oil. Okay. A bit of white wine, some lemon juice, some parmesan, mm. and parsley at the end. Then, that uh, looks like a lot of lemon juice. Well, we're not going to use all that lemon juice. Okay. Only about a tablespoon. That looks that. like a lot of white wine. <laughs> well, yeah, if he doesn't use, use it, it you just bottle, right? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it used to be more. And, <laughs> um, so I had, I mean, I haven't put these on uh, on the menu, but I brought, you know, so something different, kind of spice it up a bit, mm -hmm. uh, make it, you know, look nicer. Got some deep fried spaghetti. Deep fried spaghetti. Yeah, and wow. you've got to take it raw. Yeah. Uh, if you take it cooked, it's going to be uh, soft inside still. So if oh, you take okay. it raw, it's still right. hard. Right on. Um, well, what does it taste like? Like, yeah. do you eat it or? Yeah, yeah? you can okay. eat it, totally. All right. Edible. Just crunchy. Wow. That's a great snack. It smells yeah. so bad. Mmm. Much to it. And, oh, uh, you know, it tastes like a wonton noodle or something. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah pretty well. Whatever they're called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonton egg noodles. Chinese noodles. Yeah. Yeah, those little ones. You didn't okay. invent that, man. <laughs
<laughs> then I uh, brought some Parmesan crisps. Oh, I love mm. those. With chili flakes. Mm. Little, it's mm. a little spicy. Okay. Is it? So, oh, fresh Parmesan, and uh, you have to get the good stuff, the uh, Parmesan Reggiano. If you get the, the cheap stuff, it's got a lot of whey powder in it, yeah. about three quarters to one quarter. So, mm. it doesn't hold up, it just totally flakes apart. So, okay. you take the fresh, that's freshly grated, put it onto a tray. Oh, yeah. Then you bake it. <laughs> Good. What is he doing now? <laughs> Put a good little kick to it. It's, um, it's got a small bite to it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. Right. So I, the reason I have the spaghetti blanched before is that, uh, I mean, to get the timing on both, you know, when that's cooked and this is ready, yeah. uh, it's pretty hard. Yeah. So I have it ready. It'll take about a minute in there, a minute and a half to heat up, yeah. and then I put it in. Well, you see the okay. pan, you see that your oil, uh, a little bit of it left behind there in the exactly. water, Exactly. Right? That came from it. Oh. That's what I have to do, because that's yeah. what always happens. The spaghetti's done, the sauce is still isn't finished. So it's an um, olive oil base. I'm going to put some more olive oil into it. Heart healthy ingredient there, omega-3. Yep. <laughs> bit of white wine. Heart healthy ingredient once again. <laughs> the lemon juice to give it a little kick to it. No comment. <laughs> Strain the peps. <laughs> yes, that's all I can say. <laughs> Parsley. A little chopped parsley. Wow. Yeah. Looking good there, pal. So you just whip this up at home one day? Yeah. Well, what do you cook at home for yourself? Like, is this a typical type of thing, or do you yeah, just do a one-time meal? Yeah. Um, last night I had uh, grilled ribeyes. I made a... Grilled actually, I had some, Yeah, grilled ribeye with some yeah. uh, roasted potatoes, asparagus, and carrots. Wow. And actually, I had some carrots, and they're on, the, on my bottom container, and they, had, they, got, they were frozen. Okay. Because it was so cold on the bottom, so I took them, peeled them, and made uh, carrot soup. Just like ah, food, food. some onions, some bit of garlic, some uh -huh. water in there. Didn't have any stock for food, some water, a bit of white wine. They're really great. So who does the cleaning in your house? You do, I do. the cooking. You do it all, eh? Because no. his wife isn't here to talk about it. <laughs> Mr. Clean, eh? I can just imagine. <laughs> now listen, you got out to vote yet? Don't say who or what or when or why or anything. But have you voted yet? No, I haven't. No, okay. no advance. So you're going to do it today? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. Good I think a lot of people do it afterwards. Yeah. Right. So Parmesan cheese. Yep. Okay. Do you, uh, do you guys have anything special uh, involved with uh, Remembrance Day? Uh, do you just quiet everything down no, at 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah, it's uh, really quiet. Yeah, could imagine so. More yeah. pepper. A little more pepper. A little more pepper. I well, always I worry about over-peppering it. Really? You know, like, yeah, I mean, for me, I kind of know it because I mean, I've been doing right. this for so long. Uh -huh. um, so just but keep I'm, testing it? Yeah, just keep on testing it. A little, uh, I mean, rather add a little than, not, than too much. Right. Right. Okay, so we're ready. Rather too little than too much. You can't take it out again. Wow. Exactly. Right. You're going to leave this for us, right? Absolutely. A little <laughs> too much in so. there. That's right nice. On. Okay. So any hockey player worth their salt would be having this uh, before they go out to a game in a few hours. No, so we're going to yeah. use it as deep fried spaghetti. Yeah, yeah deep fried spaghetti. Manny invented. Decorated. <laughs> decorate it. Decorate the display or what do you... Uh, wow, hey, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. That's great. That's pretty cool looking. Then we could throw... Uh, of One of the red crisps. hot uh, Parmesan yeah, crisps. Yeah. Just give it a little kick to it. Yeah. You're nice. not yelling bam like you usually right. do. <laughs> <laughs> fresh rose uh, what do you do when you buy anywhere. this? I brought my garden. You got this from the garden? <laughs> it hasn't frozen over yet? Mine was. <laughs> Some rosemary. My oregano was huddled in the corner, Look freezing. Look at that. Yeah. that you can't, you can't really see from above how beautiful this is. You have to kind of look at it from the side, though, too. Yeah, it's kind of spiky like bark it's got <laughs> yeah. it's Now, do you have a favorite there. recipe that you've created? Um, you know what, that I've created? Or uh, is it always the most recent one? Mm. Yeah, because it always changes. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's really good. <laughs> Like, I guess my favorite dish would be like Eggs Benedict. I okay. love Oh, Eggs I Benedict. love those too. Just love tons yeah. of hollandaise. Yeah. yeah. Nice and fatty. How do you stay so skinny like that, Daniel? Tons of hollandaise. Work, work, work. Yeah. Do, you, do you use it? You Bike, make your roller own? blade stuff. I was doing stuff. Well, they're making us do our work, Patty. Yeah. Don't yeah, you hate okay. it when, they, when it comes to tasting things? Thing. My tasting spoon has gone missing. Thank you. Oh, man. That's all right. I don't know about this place. Now, as, as a chef, do you recommend <laughs> the, the eating spaghetti with the spoon or without the spoon? I use the spoon. You use the spoon? Yeah. Well, I'm a one-handed wonder here, so... Yeah, we call her Lefty. <laughs> yeah, lefty? I mean, lefty. Well, okay. actually, you're righty, aren't you? Righty, yeah. Okay, let me try. Oh, everything's <laughs> going everywhere. Nothing like having people watch you eat. <laughs> yeah, not like we're on TV or anything, is it? <laughs> Come on, Patty, dig in. <laughs> Don't hold back. Mm. That is good. Simple. Yeah. That is very good. Yep. Yeah. Very simple. Listen, thank you very much, uh, Manny. Good to see you again. Valhalla is located at mm. 1 Valhalla in Rhode. 416. 239-2391. 2391, yes. That's right. www.valhalla, I was chewing actually, right. valhalla-in.com.